the Omicron variant spreads. Portland Public Schools says Jefferson High School will be closed tomorrow and will transfer back to distance learning on Thursday. That will last through at least the 19th. Like so many other schools, it's because of COVID-related absences for students and staff. Well, we have complete live team coverage for you this evening. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez is taking a closer look at local universities and why some students at U of O are asking to go back to distance learning. We'll also give you an update into the decision making at Portland Public Schools, but teachers and students aren't the only ones who need time off to deal with COVID. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel is getting some important answers about sick time and your rights when it comes to staying at home. Audrey. Nora, these are questions I've actually had myself too. I'm at home right now with COVID and luckily I'm able to work remotely while I recover, but I know that that's not a situation that a lot of people have access to. And you might remember that early on during the pandemic, there were federal options for COVID leave, but those aren't in place anymore. So a lot of times right now, workers are left using their own time off. Across industries, the Omicron surge is forcing employees to stay home, be it they have COVID, their kid has COVID, or in certain situations, they might have to quarantine from an exposure. Oregon law gives all employees, including part-time workers, sick time. For workplaces outside Portland with at least 10 employees or in Portland with at least six employees, there's paid sick time. You can even use it if your kid's school or daycare is closed because of COVID. Beyond PTO, the options for time off are limited. You might be able to use Oregon family leave. That's often unpaid, but some of the eligibility restrictions are looser right now because we're in a public health emergency. You can also look into short-term disability as an option through your employer's insurance. Earlier in the pandemic, there were a lot of these specific COVID policies uh, but those were generally temporary and a lot of them have expired. So uh, most of this is just the situation you would be in uh, not during a pandemic, you know, with, in terms of your rights to sick leave, your rights to family leave and, and that sort of thing. Employment attorney Tom Payne says even if you test positive for COVID but feel perfectly fine, you'll most likely need to use your sick time for that five day isolation period. A lot of employers are offering remote work right now, though legally they don't have to. Employers can set their own policy on how long you have to quarantine after you test positive, and obviously they have to think about your coworkers. They have uh, have to look to keeping their workplace safe and protecting people from getting sick at work. So, if the employer's following the CDC guidelines, then yeah, you would have to stay out for those the rest of the week and use any sick time that's available. Now, a lot of these scenarios are workplace specific. So the attorney we spoke with says now is a really good time to go through your employee handbook, know the policies of your workplace and ask your HR person or manager if you have any questions. He says a lot of times right now, workplaces are willing to be really flexible. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Andre Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.